Coin traders, what's going on? Thanks for joining me for the show. Looking at Bitcoin Cash, BCH on that ticker, the younger friend of Bitcoin Core, BTC. So a lot of things interesting in this chart right now. Specifically, we've been looking at about a month. We are on the weekly chart, so about a month or so right now, currently on the fifth candle of a little bit of a pullback and retracement. You can just see how small the bodies are. And if we actually do go ahead and zoom in on the 12 period EMA on this weekly, you can just see that we are kicking off right now. So if we look at 12 period EMA, 22680 is the level for that current price right now, 22707. So right on top of that. So we are looking for the weekly close of support on top, which we actually did find on the close for the weekly last week. So now up overhead on the weekly, several key levels for resistance, specifically for the close. So we're looking at 24586. Right above that is going to be 24966. So effectively the 250 psychological level. As you can see, very big resistance points, a lot of upper wicks on these candles. And we haven't had any sort of momentum hitting to the upside, despite having not that much sell-off pressure. But we are still, for now anyway, setting those higher lows, especially every single pullback and test attempt. So our low ran up, set our higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, now pulling back to set another higher low, hopefully being able to break that after we blow through these big resistance points from 245.86 to 249.66, effectively the 250 psychological level. So we do know that right now on this weekly chart, we have back tested and confirmed support on top of specifically the 26 and the 50. And on the recent test, we are still looking at the 12. So we knew that even if we do lose the 12 period, we would be looking at the next side lower support at the 26 EMA on the current week that's down at 209.70. So a pretty substantial way below where we are currently at price. So from current price levels right now, about 227 down to that level, about 210 effectively is about a 7.5% pullback. Now, if we actually go ahead and zoom out, we can go ahead and take a peek at the volume down here on the bottom. So not necessarily that strong week over week. And in fact, if we do look at the last three bearish weeks, we're looking at 152.9 thousand, 216 thousand, followed by 160 thousand. So now if we do zoom in on the most recent couple months here, the big thing, if we look at the bodies of these candles, is that all of the bullish candles on these weekly actually completely engulf multiple bearish weeks. So for example, let's take a look at even off of the start, back in the beginning of june uh, excuse me the end of middle of august effectively we had a bullish candle that completely encompassed the two following candles immediately after that nice big bullish completely encompassed the bearish candle huge nice bullish candle the two weeks below fit inside that previous and then also the following on a bullish week so completely engulfing in two instances here, yet if we do look at volume decreasing, a bullet bears falling, excuse me, and also all on the small moves, pretty small amount of selling pressure coming in. And so now obviously on the four most recent pullback attempts, looking at all of these bodies of the candles fitting inside the most recent bullish candle here. So just under six days left to close on this candle, but we do have plenty of time to actually see what will happen. But if we do want to go ahead and look at some levels for closing support for the week, we're looking down to 214.65 as well as down to 210.54. So about that 210 psychological level, like we mentioned. And if we go ahead and zoom out as well, you can see how these do align very well with right after the COVID flush, big points of support and bouncing before leading into the last bull cycle back in 2021. All right, so flipping on over into the two-day right now, because I do want to talk about the current flag type pattern that we are looking at right now. So we do have a falling trend line for support as well as a falling trend line for resistance here forming this flag type pattern. And depending on how we actually want to draw these levels, we can actually extend them back and effectively turn it into a falling wedge, which is a little bit more of that bullish pattern. Now, so if we actually go ahead and look at the current pattern a little bit more specifically, the volume, like we talked about, falling bearish volume here on this overall pullback attempt. So right now we are looking at holding on the two day, this 50 period exponential moving average. So, so far have had very nice defenses of that, especially as we do have very minimal bodies and also shadows down here on the downside for these bearish candles. So right now still in effect holding this level of support. And so know that there's also a, another trend line here following these exponential moving averages. So we do need to see what's going to happen currently, because if we do get a break of a lot of these supports, we're actually going to be looking at a lot of bearish pressure to the downside and effectively testing some of these lower lows. 
And that's going to be another so strong sign that we are going to be seeing our shorter term top right now and that this will be a longer term consolidation and pullback pattern as opposed to being a little bit more optimistic about a support holding and seeing a bullish break from a falling wedge or a, a bull flag type pattern. So now if we do pull up the technical indicators, specifically want to look at stochastic RSI because we are at the bottom right now with stochastic RSI at 1.41 and 1.72. So this is about the lowest and the smashed amount we've ever seen it down at the bottom. So even if we zoom out, we haven't really seen it this low since pulling back in June of 2022 about when we were at the same level then obviously from there a pretty nice substantial move to the upside so even zooming in on that pattern a little bit more you can see that from our low and our bottom that we've found excuse me we were looking up at a high of about 66 percent here from june to about the middle of july but in the current we are also still trying to defend this level of bullish exponential moving averages and they are getting a lot more tight so we have had the 12 period roll over now down to the 26 so we do need to see a defense and support just like we did back in the middle of october otherwise we will risk losing and testing some of these lows for support and then likely setting our high and retracing farther to the downside so switching over to the daily big level to defend 225 and as you can see very apparent currently right now doing a very nice strong defense of it we have seen it as big point of support resistance as well as resistance resistance and then even zooming out farther saw it as support so an extremely very relevant line here coming up and then even turning on the volume profile visible range vpvr you can see how this whole level all the way up to about the 250 level is a big point of mass for a lot of the volume here on the chart and so as long as we can defend some of these supports we will probably see a little bit of a struggle so it will take time to get over that 245 to 250 zone but once that happens we will be able to see a very nice rally and run up to about the 280 level before likely being able to retrace back test the 250 zone as support before making a run up to about 300 and then running up to about 330 where we saw our previous trend high coming in. So now I want to flip over to the 12 hour really quick before we do wrap up just because we have seen a more or less downtrend right now for this price. So we have seen our high, lower lows, lower highs, but that is the 12 hour. And as you saw, that does fit into a longer term falling wedge or bull flag type pattern. So what this effectively means, especially as we start to approach the apex of that wedge type pattern, is that we're really going to need to rely on a lot of these supports and we will get an indication what the outcome of this pattern is going to be here soon. So again, we're never trying to make predictions based off what this is going to do. We always have to be reactive and that's why we do need to focus so critically on what the supports and resistances are right now. So on the 12 hour, we are actually seeing a very big defense, especially after seeing 12 hour closes. But we know that it's not necessarily as reliable because we can get these bearish crosses here and then find support to actually see a nice defense, which we could ultimately end up seeing. Again, definitely not a prediction. It all comes down to being able to see the break of a lot of these upside resistances, as well as blow through the 12 hour exponential moving average resistance band since it has now flipped bearish. But if we look at the most recent pullback where we actually did establish a bottom on top of 212, we can actually find a very nice trend line for support that does encompass a lot of these downside shadows. So if we look back at that previous level, look at all of the touches and tests of these lower wicks and downside shadows on this trend line. So that's effectively what we are starting to see again right now, where we do have a lot of back tests of this trend line. So if we can still see the same sort of signals and get another very nice bullish break on top of this, forming a flag, backtesting the exponential moving averages and seeing that follow through, that's exactly the type of fractal pattern that will ultimately end up playing out next, which will confirm a breakout from that bearish pattern, or excuse me, the bullish pattern for the falling wedge or even the bull flag like we mentioned. So since we are relying on the longer term charts, that does mean that it does take some time, but we are entering the time where it is going to be coming here and we will have a very nice decision here and ultimately know the outcome here before too long. In the meantime, do need to focus on that overhead resistance point coming in at about 231. So we are sitting very tight between a very big zone 225 to 230. So that is the very big level to look out for a break and close below that will confirm another back test of some of these lower supports, as well as invalidate now that trend line that we are looking at 
and likely in that instance just set a lower high to then make a new lower low. Over on Twitter or X did make a tweet earlier today asking the public or community whether or not we could see Bitcoin Cash ever getting to 10,000. Now, obviously, Bitcoin Core is way over that, so it's not impossible, especially since from a technological standpoint, Bitcoin Cash does do a lot of things much better than a Bitcoin Core does. But would love to know your thoughts down in the comments section as well of the video or drop me a follow over here on Twitter or X at coin underscore trades is the handle. Looking forward to seeing everyone over on Twitter or X. So yeah, again, it's been about a month that we have been in this longer term pullback pattern. So I do think that we will be getting a pretty much a decision point here pretty soon. But ultimately, with such a long, continuous, slow and stable downtrend, that does shape up a lot more, especially with these minimal volumes for a little bit more of that bullish breakout. So we will be optimistic and think right now the likelihood is going to favor a little bit of a bullish break. But obviously, the rest of the crypto space does play into effect as well. And if we do look at Bitcoin, especially on the longer term, a lot of rallies. So we do know that consolidation and probably a pullback is in effect for Bitcoin here before too long. So we know that that will be playing off onto what happens with Bitcoin Cash. So with that said, even if we are looking for a nice bull break based on what we are seeing on the current for the last few weeks, still doesn't mean that if Bitcoin Core does pull back, we wouldn't be able to see a falling price, which would definitely be possible, especially on this weekly, down to a run up below, hoping to hold a lower defense above 188. But like we said, never trying to be predictive, just reactive. So we will be catching back up and also stay tuned on Twitter for more updates about Bitcoin Cash. That is going to wrap up the show for now, though. So if you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe. Don't forget to drop me a note down in the comments sections. And I love looking forward to getting back to each and every one of you. That is going to do it for now, though. So stay safe. Take care. Thanks again for all the support. And I'll catch you back in the next video.